What's going on guys and welcome back to another video. So the new update has finally dropped with of course Shield Substation Zero and we now have the Tachyon Rifts which is really fun. Now as I'm making this video we are still yet to receive a blog but nonetheless in yesterday's post they did say by the end of the week so that being said fingers crossed we will get this tomorrow if not later today but it's safe to say it does feel good to have some new content as a whole. Now as always let's try and crush 19 likes and go ahead and click that big red subscribe button below if you have not already because of course it's just a cool thing to do so go ahead and join the community if you are not already joined. So the update is here Substation Zero alongside the Tachyon Rifts and it is a blast. Now you do get this weird transition thing happen when you enter for the first time in this outpost so I'm I'm assuming it is some type of teaser but if you know more on this let me know in the comments below I'm like I said I'm assuming it is a teaser it would just make sense and it gets a lot of people talking and that's not the only thing that does because in this outpost there are more things now at first I was unable to find him however if you do free well not free roam but if you roam around in the outpost you can actually find dum dum Dugan which is a nice touch of course now people do seem to feel 50 50 with the new content and that being said with the patch we received yesterday it has in my opinion made a lot of small changes that are actually very effective ones all right and it's one of those things where sometimes you don't realize what's been changed until you actually just experience it but another thing with the content that was added i mean the tachyon riffs it does seem fun all right it has a timer of course and doing certain things such as takedowns etc essentially add a little more time and overall it does just give you that sense of urgency now before I go a bit more into that a lot of people are now also taking a look at the maps in this outpost because it does circle I guess a load of different locations now I am no good with this stuff however again I'm assuming this is indeed hinting to hopefully new locations or areas as a whole for further DLC content so if you are someone who is very good with maps please let me know where these are in the comments below but like I said I don't think they would just circle all these locations and it would have no meaning behind it it would be a very smart thing if they have circled these locations and of course it does hint to further DLC content it keeps people talking it keeps people interested in the game so again here's to you know I guess hoping these are indeed teasers but that is not yet confirmed although when it comes down to like the Wakanda update which we know essentially will be coming with Black Panther of course you can kind of see where it's going on this map so that's I guess the reason why not just myself but loads of other people as well are now just trying to dig through all of these little circles essentially to find out these locations now the complaints that I've been seeing for this is essentially it's I guess that the Tachyon uh, Rift missions are just I guess cloned missions essentially with a timer now although being honest it is to an extent exactly that it is fun to do but considering they didn't really hype up the tachyon rifts missions as much i guess it's no biggie in fact i do guess majority of this update whether we like it or not is no biggie right because it's all free content which is ultimately of course a big win here so you can't really be frustrated if you don't like it like if i paid for this substation zero let's just say this is all we were getting and i didn't like tacky on riffs i guess i have the right to of course be annoyed but if i didn't pay for it which I didn't, of course, in this situation. I ain't really so fussed by it, right? It's new content for me. It is fun, but I know everyone has their own opinion on that. But what they have hyped up is, of course, the Kate Bishop DLC, which is safe to say is clearly coming very, very soon. And again, here's to hoping that we do get some more info on this tomorrow, if not the release tomorrow, right, for this, and of course, the blog. But again, we can only wait and see. But when it comes down to that, my expert expectations are high in terms of high in the perspective of getting new areas of course to battle win that's i guess the biggest thing for me i'm just hoping it's not going to be kate bishop and of course i guess all the same locations so i mean hopefully not I, I guess that would annoy a lot of people considering they are hyping this up but i don't think that would be the case now 
to pass time tachyon rifts are fun but i want you to leave your thoughts on this in the comments below again it's just putting this game in the right direction now in other news phil has been in a conversation with someone over in the mythical lands of reddit but this time discussing a feature that could be returning with villains and just to add here, I am hoping new villains is something that are on their list, of course, that they will be adding soon. Anyway, nonetheless, it says the following, and just to kind of give you an overview, it's about a feature that was accidentally almost in the game before in terms of an error that was then removed. So, what someone said is a special suggestion for future content. Abomination and Taskmaster randomly hunt the players on normal missions, and a small chance to occur and small chance for loot drop. Like stalker in warframe and then phil actually responded to this by saying early on in production we had a bug that did that and i loved it honestly it's something we still talk about i would love to do something like this in as i guess something well in terms of some upcoming content i don't know why i just struggled to read that last part but nonetheless this of course just gives me instant flashbacks to how taskmaster works in of course spider-man for instance how he would just randomly pop up in certain locations and I think they definitely need to do this for all of these of course villains but what we do need is of course to not just keep battling Abomination and Taskmaster because although if they just randomly hunt us down yes it still would be fun I'm not gonna lie but I just don't want to battle Abomination and Taskmaster anymore. Being completely honest, from a gameplay perspective, it feels a little bit repetitive, but I guess just adding this little feature would kind of give a twist to it, but it still, I guess it doesn't save it from saying we need new villains, which is still, of course, the big, big must. But going on the bases, we got Kate Bishop, then, of course, it's going to be Hawkeye, and then, fingers crossed, of course, we are going to be getting the one and only Black Panther, which is, I guess, to say the most anticipated character before Hawkeye right then I mean we're on positive tracks I guess you could say but leave all of your thoughts on this stuff in the comments below how do you find the update as a whole including the patch from yesterday can you see some game changing bugs uh, or not bugs some game changing differences that have actually I guess you well something you've noticed and you're like wow this is actually a nice addition so I've noticed a few of them there are a ton of them I want you guys to leave your thoughts on that in the comments below i might even make a video maybe just highlighting the smaller things that were actually tweaked that do make a difference for me playing the game but nonetheless leave all of your thoughts on this stuff in the comments below and hey that's gonna wrap up this video here so as always go ahead and subscribe for more awesome content if you haven't already if you missed any of the previous videos they will be on screen or in the description go ahead and check them out alongside the playlist as well but guys i'll see you in the next one till then as always have your yourselves a ridiculously amazing day and until the next one adios amigos